um, Brian, Brian came up and just really had a good little point. I asked him to stay and if he would share that, but it had to do with hope. I just wanted to bounce off of what Pastor John was talking about earlier. Uh, many of you may know this already, but it's a, it's a kind of a detail about the word hope in the Bible. The Greek word is elpis. And for those of you who are not aware, I think it makes a difference if you understand that the Greek idea of hope doesn't have to do with wishing. A lot of times we use the, the word hope to think, you know, well, I'm, I'm hoping, you know, that things go well next week. I'm hoping to get a new car. I'm hoping for the, you know, it's something that might or might not happen. But in the Greek, the word hope actually means expectation. It's a, there's a slight difference to the, the meaning, the way it's used in the Bible. When the Paul, the apostle, talks about hope, he's not talking about something that might happen. He's talking about something that will happen. It just hasn't yet. And it's an important part. It's an important thing to understand about the word. When, and in time, anytime you see it in the Bible, it's the same word. And it means an expectation of something that's going to happen. It's going to be, it's not uncertain. And so I just wanted to share that with you for those of you who may not be aware of that. When you read the Bible, you encounter that word. You can translate it expect or expectation uh, in your mind, and you'll be close to what uh, the original authors were intending by that.